with a run batted in yesterday. And the DH takes strike one. Six for 14, so they did it all the way around. And DeVito works it walk. Breaking ball misses down and in. Back-to-back -back walks for Hilliard. And Buddy Dwayne, who's been swinging a really hot bat in the postseason. Difficult first inning. Two on, two out, the 0-2. Got it! And Hilliard will jog off the mound unscathed in the first. The 1-1 pitch to Cruz. And he oh. hits it high and deep. A little frustration coming out, perhaps, for the entire roster. And it's 1-0. Fourteenth home run of the year for Cruz. Well, that's one way to get the party started if you're LSU shut out last night. But Dylan Cruz changes that with one swing. Watch the location of this changeup. It is down, but Dylan Cruz sinks into those legs and he goes down and he gets every stitch of this one. That's a big ball there. 14th home run of the year for the freshman, 37th RBI. And Doty's aboard. Well, Back to back hits here for LSU. Yeah. One for four with a Stilton base yesterday. Sam Loda trying to block it up. And Doty's at the second for the Tigers today. 1-1, one, one, and this one is raked into the gap. Coming around to score is Doty. Just like that, it's 2-0 Tigers. Well, another good swing. A lot like Dylan Cruz's swing from the right side. Watch Trey Morgan sink down as well. Goes down and gets a ball that's borderline even a strike and he laces this one out to right center field you see Nolan Kane anybody He's tough did. you know how do you come back from an ACL tear well Andrew Braun comes back and he had a great night last night and he hits this one into right field his fourth hit of the national tournament and this is what Central does he worked around him had a couple of strikeouts in the inning Back through the middle, another base hit. This one from Elliott Good, who got the start at second base for the Blue Devils. Bertacci to center. DiGiacomo started back now, has to come in. Not going to get there. That's going to score a run. Pasqualini is home. And Central Connecticut is on the board. DiGiacomo got a bad read in center, Ben, and it cost the Tigers a run. Yeah, this was not a good read at all. It's a big swing. You see where he's at, top of your screen. This ball's off the end of the bat, so it's a big swing with the ball not going to right there, about three steps back. And once he retreated, even with the Giacomo speed, there's no way he's going to get that ball. So a little bit of a mis misread. A single from the nine-hole hitter, and that turns the lineup over for Cavino. He'll send one to deep left. Going back as Dugas won't get there. It's up against the wall. Rounding third, coming home. Good, and Bertacci, they were off with the pitch. And Cavino drives in two to give the Blue Devils a 3-2 to two lead. Well, just like Central did all day yesterday, got down and found a way to fight back, and they have fought back with a crooked number of their own. A ball up in the zone is slicing out toward left center field. Dugas has got a beat on it, but right there can't quite get to it. It gets over his head, and there was no doubt two runs were going to score. Fourth hit of the inning. And some aggressive base running by Central. Well, you got to have one thing to come all the way back. you got to have... Oh, my. That one is cranked. Good! Home run, Noah Martinez. A two-run shot. And it's 5-2. to two. Well, a lot of these balls this inning not hit very hard.
But this one was hit hard. We talk about the size of Noah Martinez and how big he is. He fills up a batter's box and he gets every bit of that one. Seventh home run of the year for Martinez. While back here in Eugene, it is 5-2 Central Connecticut. Dylan Cruz doing it again. Make it a bid for a second home run and he's got it. How about that? Dylan Cruz. Two at bats, two home runs. Well, that's what they call a cruise missile down at Baton Rouge. And he's got two of them today. Two big swings. Well, here's Dylan Cruz's second home run of the day. This time it is a fastball just kind of middle away. And again, he is on time and all over this one. Guys on the team somewhere early in the year started calling him college baseball's Mike Trout. Up on a college campus, everybody else signed professional contracts. He was a can't miss first rounder. As Morgan screams that one into left. Two, two. Poking it the other way. Martinez knocks it down, but that's all he can do. Morgan goes to third on the play. Tigers have runners at the corners in two. You would think that change up away is coming. Line drive down the line, and that's fair. Into the corner. One runner's here. They're going to wave around. Arnold, he will score. And we're tied at five. A two-run double for Drew Bianco. It's two and ties the game. Yeah, another fastball. You would think he would have went to the changeup play after back-to-back -back fastballs, but he tried to sneak another fastball to buy Drew Bianco, and he would have none of this. A for the Tigers. 3-2 pitch again. Called strike three. And that ends the inning. There's Paul Maneri. Maybe his last game as LSU's head coach. Swung on into center field. Lead-off hit for Jordan Thompson. And the Tigers are in business with their first hit since there were two outs in the third. 2-1. Ground ball back up the middle, and that's going to get into center field. Thompson will hold it second. And it's the third hit of the day for Cruz. What a day for the freshman. Ball left center field with the best of them, and you think that's where he's going to try to go. Instead, it's pulled to Martinez, and that ends the inning. So the Tigers threaten, do not score. They strand two. We in 09. 3 2 is hammered. And that's going to get down for a hit. Well, I thought that was hit harder than it ultimately was. He may have got it off the end of the bat. But Matthews is aboard with a one. Runner goes. Here comes the throw. It is in time. Got it. Alex Malazzo guns down Matthews to end the eighth. Edwards faces the minimum in the inning. You know that your season could potentially be over. Hit on a line into right field base hit. And the Tigers have the go-ahead runner on. Really solid at second today. 2-1 wrap left side. DeVito to second for one. Got him double play. 5-4-3 twin killing to get Central out of the eighth. Thompson and Malazzo. Ground ball to short. Candy hop for Thompson. LSU will try to win it in the ninth inning. He comes back to dugout and says, okay, coach, I was looking first pitch breaking ball and I got one, but I don't think that to be the case. Another Tough first pitch here. swing. Thompson dumps it into center. And he's going to try for two, and he's there. Jordan Thompson gets a break. He's in scoring position with one out. Again, the one two. Swung on, lifted into right. Playable for Matthews. And we're going to extra innings in Eugene, Oregon. Nine pitch inning for Devin Fontenot.
LSU will try to win it in the 10th. For whatever that's worth. Down and in, it hit him. Dugas is aboard with one out. The 1-1. One -1. Breaking ball, lined into right. That's going to get down. Dugas is going to hold at second. First and second, one out. 3-2 pitch. Locked him and the bases are full for DiGiacomo. To the seven-hole hitter DiGiacomo. Ground ball. Back up the middle and through, and LSU walks it off in the tenth. And Paul Maneri will coach another one tomorrow as LSU stays alive in the Eugene Regional.